Well, my plan is not to avoid it. My board, my, my plan is to capitalize. You know, I don't avoid things. Boxing, you, um, there are a few punches in boxing that's consistent. And, and, and when, you, when you're on a top-level boxer, you have to deal with those combinations. And, and obviously, one of the combinations is he throw. It's not a weird one. It's, it's a common one. So it's no surprise, and it's, it's not a complicated situation. You've seen it all. <laughs> 42, but I'm still, I've still got it. But you were in such good shape. What do you do to keep your motivation fight after fight? Well, one, I, I have good company like all of these, and, and, and uh, you know, I like it a lot. Uh, I'm surrounded by all these cameras, so that keeps me motivated. Um, and, and again, I, I'm a chaser of money, so uh, that's another motivation. And I like ladies, that's another motivation. So. <laughs> or you don't fight against ladies. <laughs> No, I do other things. He fights to meet ladies. Uh -huh. Please, ladies. Uh, if you if you beat Guti, what would be the, the the next target? Because you 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 just said that you you chase for money. What what would be the big payday for Glenn Johnson after Guti? Well, you never know. I mean, for me, it it, it, it there's plenty of fights out there. And it's all, it's all about the TV and the people and what they want to see and what everybody willing to pay for. And for me, it's just one fight at a time. So I will go out there and take care of the Boutte job. And then we sit back and see if it's a rematch with Boutte, bring the most money. If it's somebody else, then that's what we do. Hopkins? Because there's, hey, there's, there's lots of there's, Hopkins. Would there's you like always, to have the Hopkins, The Hopkins is, <laughs> is, is, is always that ultimate fight that everybody always bring up. People want to see the two old men go at it and see which one is the best of the two. So I'm definitely looking forward to that fight if it ever happens. Hey, Glenn, Butte has been training here in uh, Florida for quite a few fights. I'm sure you've probably sparred with him a lot. What's, uh, what's your take on him from what your experiences with him in the ring so far? Um, Butte is, is a very good fighter. Um, I, I have plenty of respect for him. He have a lot of talent, but, um, you know, I just believe I'm, I'm in a different class. I'm, uh, an, I'm a lead fighter, and... You know, um, I'm looking forward to the challenge. I know it's a difficult task to go into Quebec City, Canada, and fight against Boutte and his fans and, and the whole situation there, but um, it's not my first time at this rodeo. So when you sparred with him and you left the ring afterwards, were you thinking to yourself, I could beat this guy? He doesn't have anything. Um, well, you know, I don't have to go inside the ring with a guy to feel this way. Yeah. You know, I, um, I think any elite fighter believe that they can beat every fighter that's out there. So. Um, you know, the, that's a feeling that I walk with every day. If you lose, if you lose, you just said you're 42 years old, would you consider retirement or there's still something else for Glenn Johnson? Well, I won't lose. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, 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 and certainly there are other fights out there, but I'm not looking at those fights, I'm looking at this one. And, um, and, and that's the only thing I'm concentrating on. What do you think of fighting in Quebec City where it'd be 15,000 people cheering for the uh, the opponent. 15? That's it? I thought it was more like 50 or something bigger. You just got me motivated. You know Lucian a lot and you know Cal Frotch a lot. Which one is the best? Well, I, I couldn't tell you which, which, which of the fighters is the best fighter, um, obviously. Um, you know, I, I could say I probably think um, Boutte is a faster fighter than Carl Fratcher. Carl Fratcher is a stronger fighter, he's more physical. Now you put those two match up together, I don't know which one would win. I mean, both fighters have the qualities. And, you know, again, boxing is boxing. You know, we see one guy win a fight and they have a rematch and the other guy win it. So it all depends on, on, on who have the best night and, 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 and who, you know, what night it is and who want to turn out. Um, you know. when you, again, when you have two elite fighters, it's a task, you know. You never know. All depends on what side the coin is, the coin land on, right? Who's going to win between Frotch and Ward? Frotch and Ward. I would have to go with Ward just because he's um, he's sitting on the favorite. He shows to have um, the best tragedy of everybody. He was in the Super Six to match all the fighters that he faced. I believe he he, he faces the best fighter, um, and he come up with the answers um, with everybody. So. I would have to go with him. He's, he's, not, uh, he's not got that touch and, touch and run type situation. You're going to have to beat him in his own country. So um, I would have to go with, uh, with Ward. Do you feel Boutte has more to lose in, the, in your fight than, than yourself? 
Um, well, you know, for me, I, I don't think it's, I could lose any, you know, it's, I can't lose. It's, it's do or die situation. So uh, I would have to say I have the most to lose because, uh, you know, Lubute losing don't end his career and don't, don't, you know what I mean? It might set him back a little bit, but I'm sure if he decides to fight next week after my fight, uh, the place is just as packed um, supporting him. So what do you have to lose? From your part? You see it as a, if you lose, that, that could be. Well, again, like I said, every, every I, I not, I'm not losing, so I don't have to think about that.